Let's know before you go to Prague, Czech Republic. I'm Michael Chow the World, and today we're going to tell you what you need to know for visiting this city. So, first thing you see is this bridge behind me, the Charles Bridge, built in the 14th century. Um, you need to know that you shouldn't visit it during the middle of the day, because then it's insanely mobbed. Visit it during the evening or during the morning, because then you have all the buskers, and then you have it to yourself. The second tip I will give it to you is that you shouldn't go um, to the Prague Castle on the side of the Mains Bridge, which is like, like you know, uh, like on the bridge other than the Charles Bridge. Go through the Charles Bridge side. Yes, it takes long, but then you get to see St. Nicholas Church on the way as well as the Lesser Town. And... You get into the broadcast with all the sites with the golden lane and stuff like that, it's easier to find. So my next few tips are just general stuff that I just need to get out of the way. So just saying. So uh, you see that astronomical clock behind me? Look, I'm going to get out and go. You see. So you have uh, those doors on the top and then the actual clock uh, below it. And then you have the death skeleton. And then you have the rooster um, somewhere, I guess. And then, so you see the whole presentation, the whole show. It's every hour on the top of the hour, so you're, gonna, so you're never going to miss it. You have to see it. But watch out for the pickpockets because it's so crowded, you're not going to you know, notice that they're, gonna pick, they're picking pockets. So you just need to watch your pockets, the area where you need to do that. Next, um, don't think you're going to use the public transport because the city is compact. You can walk everywhere, like all, all the major tourist sites in Prague 1, you can walk to. If you're going to go to sites not in the Prague 1 area, because Prague is divided into districts, and if you're going to go outside of the Prague 1 district, I would recommend taking the public transport. There's trams, buses, um, and subways. With, uh, and, and like in Vienna, it's an honest system. And you do need to validate them, but uh, they sell them by the minute. And then a lot of the machines only take coins, uh, which uh, and some take credit card. But if so, your best bet is if you want to buy public transport tickets, go to the and and the machine you have only takes coins. Go to the go to the, like the newsstands. They all they all sell the tickets other than the three day because the three day is the max you can buy on the machine, and you can pay with credit card or cash because. Who, who carries change around? And remember that Prague was four towns and became one town in the 1700s. So you just um, just remember that. Uh, there's the new town with the Wenceslas Square and the old town with the old town square and the castle with the yeah castle and the lower town with all the cool stuff there at the St. Nicholas Church. So just remember that. So um, Prague has a lot of houses of worship, like churches and synagogues and stuff, so you need to know how to see those, too. I talked about this up in my Budapest episode, so please remember that. Just check my video up in the card right there. So, what does I have? So, enjoy an organ concert at the St. Nicholas Church, the one behind me, or the place where I enjoyed it, that uh, St. Francis of Assisi Church is the one with the green dome right by Charles Bridge. It's a great place. Uh, because it's very con in a very convenient area, so why not have a very convenient thing? Along with churches, synagogues exist in Prague because Prague had one of the biggest Jewish communities in Europe before World War II. So there's tons of cool synagogues, like the Jerusalem one right behind me, which is the only one non-Jewish quarter, and then there's the old new one, there's the Spanish one, there's some cool ones there, then there's some very cool buildings in the Jewish quarter you visit them. It's very close to the old town. It's like that, the bend in the river. So just so you know. Because Prague is a touristy city, it has many scammers, and the scams are mostly very easy to avoid, and most of the scams are in Old Town Square anyway, or near it, so that's why I chose that as my picture. So one of the scams is right by Old Town Square, which is like the, on Old Town Square, which is this, Stupid exchange house that charges insane commission. Don't believe the stuff that charges 0% commission. It likely charges way more. Next, don't think, don't ride the historic cars. They're not historic. They just look historic. Next, don't change money on the street because instead you'll get Belarusian rubles instead of Czech krona. And you do not want 
And plus, those bonus and rebels are expired, so you can't go and exchange them at an exchange office. You have just got rid of your money. Next, don't, don't, never buy anything. You're gonna take like a, a walk tour around Prague. They're gonna, they might put, you, take you to a, a jewelry uh, and wine shop. Do not, in the slightest idea, consider buying anything from there because your guide gets a kickback from taking you there. And if you don't buy it there, your guide won't, the company won't make any money and it won't take you there. So I'll put an end to that. And I got all those scam tips, not just from myself, but from like the Honest Guide channel. I'm going to give a shout out to him in the card above. So go check him out. He has so much good videos on Prague uh, specifically. And a few more videos on, and a few videos on Kiev, Bratislava, Innsbruck, and, uh, and New York City. So check his channel out. Also, other YouTube channels I recommend that you check out other than Travel in the World is um, Walter's, Wor uh, is Walter's World. He has a lot of good videos on Prague. Uh, Yellow Productions has an okay guide on Prague because it's, because it's a very old video. He says modern videos are very good. He has tons of good videos. So I'll give a shout out to all of them up in the card. But Vaga Brothers have a video uh, uh, about the undiscovered Prague, so if you want to check that out, do that. So, and just do that. Just check out those channels, and uh, you'll get more information for your trip. Okay, so let's talk about the food section now, well, briefly, because Prague is a foodie city, and you need to know about the food and the beer, of course. I'll first talk about the beer because I can't drink beer, so all I know is that there's beer everywhere, beer everywhere, beer everywhere, beer halls, beer in every restaurant, beer and, and beer, uh, like things that go around town, beer and bike, even though you don't really bike. Okay, but let's go back to the food. So, so you hand me is the Donik, and if they sell it in all over the old town of Prague, and it's not really a Czech thing, you can get it with ice cream or whatever, um, it's not Czech, it's actually Hungarian, so if you, it's better to get in Hungary or don't expect it to be Czech or, and don't think it's Czech. Otherwise, some notable Czech dishes include Svichkova, which is basically beef in a cream sauce. Um, roast duck with dumplings. And... And goulash, beef goulash, and which is basically sevichkova, but instead of a a cream sauce, it's a paprika sauce. So thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. Turn on notifications and comment your thoughts down below. Thank you very much, and have a great day.